Okay, so uh, let's work through some of the calculations. Uh, and you may have noticed since my last video that uh, the name, uh, I was working from an old copy that I needed to update. And some of the things uh, down here were missing. So this needs to be ND, the refractive index. It's not the percent TDS coffee. And I need to record my temperature, which if you'll remember, was 93.9 uh, .9 degrees Celsius. So just about 94, which was a, what I was shooting for. Now, um, in order to work through these calculations, the first thing that we're gonna need to do is we're going to need to calculate our uh, uh, percent TDS from an equation. The equation for me is N sub D equals 0 0.00188. You're gonna use your equation though, uh, unless you've heard otherwise from your instructor. Uh, 1.3325. Right, oh, and X is, I should put percent TDS coffee. And the value I got was 1.3341. So I'm going to subtract my 1.3325. 1 1.3341 minus 1.3325. I get 1 1.6 times 10 to the minus 3, which is 0 0.0016. Divide that by my... 0 0.00188 and I get that my percent TDS for this is 0 0.85 percent which we might expect we had a one minute extraction time plus the time for it to get through next thing calculate the mass of the uh, brew or the mass of the coffee That's going to equal, and I, I hope I have everything that I need here. Um, oh, that's mass of coffee shouldn't be too bad because I have the mass of coffee cup plus brew minus the mass of the coffee cup. Four seventy two minus one fifty point nine three twenty one point one grams of coffee brew next is uh what oh that's mass of the brew that's actually number three number two should be calculate the mass of coffee so our dry grounds And that's going to be 274.6 grams uh, minus 254. So the only difference between these two numbers is the uh, coffee, uh, ground coffee. And I remember this. Sorry, 20.6 grams. Good of dry grounds. All right, then mass of coffee solids in the brew. We know our brew. We know our percent TDS. So uh, for percent TDS is going to equal uh, grams of coffee solids. over grams of brew times 100%. Oops, sorry. Let's get that on the screen there. I'm trying to get too many things on the screen at once here. And ending up with none of them. Uh, but hopefully we'll be better now. So let's see. So this is 0.85%. This is 321.1 grams. This will be our X value. Cross multiplying, put the 100 on top, we get 0 0.85 times 321.1 equals 100x. So 1 times x, which is just x, times 100, 
and x equals, got my 321.1 up there, times 0.85 divided by 100, 2.7 grams of coffee solids in there. And my PE equals grams of coffee solids Well, I'm glad I did not need the number without the cup there. Sure. Uh, at least fingers crossed that I don't. Over grams of dry grounds times 100%. And I now know I have 2.7 grams of coffee solids. I have 20.6 grams of dry grounds times 100. 2.7 divided by 20.6 times 100 equals 13.1% or just 13%, I think. So, as always, and we sort of expected this, but in my little table here, I can see that for short one minute extraction time, I get 13% extraction, and I get 0 0.85, maybe that should be 0 0.9, hmm, I don't know. And if I plot this on my plot here, I get 13, which would be right about there, and I get 0 0.85, oh good, it is on here, which is right about there. So I am short. I am lower, under extracted, and weak. So I will have two more attempts. My other attempts should take me somewhere up in this direction because I'm going to increase my extraction time. And increasing extraction time should extract more solids from the coffee beans. Um, and for the same amount of water, then I... Um, should that will lead to a higher percent TDS as well.